Are you ready to put a bite-sized SpaceX Starlink into your backpack? Soon, you can. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of misty morning and focus combination. So good. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. We're going to be talking about SpaceX Starlink's new, brand new, backpackable <laughs> SpaceX Starlink antenna. The whole system is just going to be compact. It's going to be bite-sized. Now, I know there's going to be people out there saying, you spelled bite wrong. If you're a nerd, I didn't, right? Did I? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so we're going to be talking about this bite-sized SpaceX Starlink antenna because this is really, really cool stuff. A lot of you guys have been asking me in the lives, Joe, how much longer? How much longer? I told you that this was going to come out way back last year. I'm like, yeah. Maybe second quarter of 2024, we'll see it right around there. Maybe third quarter because they're doing testing. At that time, they were testing like 200, 200 different antennas. The FCC gave SpaceX the ability to test 200 different styles or different types of antennas. And one of them was one of these little minis. So that is what's coming out now. We don't know for sure the time frame, but I was reading an article over on PC Magazine and someone in the know found this information in one of Starlink's latest firmware updates. So I wanna bring this to your attention because I think it's very, very important. If you're an RVer, if you're a camper, if you're someone on the go and you want to be able to have complete communication, it doesn't matter where you are, doesn't matter if there's a cell tower or anything in your area on the top of Mount Everest and you want it to be this big, bite-sized, <laughs> you're gonna be able to do it very, very soon. So anyways, before we get into this article, I wanna say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, why the hell not, they're free, go check them out over at jchristina.com forward slash books. And if you enjoy this content, even the least, throw it a thumbs up, that would be awesome, that'll help out a lot. If you are subscribed, that's awesome. If you're not, please do so. And then click this little button over here. So when I go live, or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. And some folks have been asking me, how can they contribute to the channel? Well, I'm glad you asked. If you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little button down here. You can give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. Also, if you want more Starlink content, I put together a playlist just for you. There's almost 270 Starlink videos in there. Tons of helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and more importantly, the why behind everything, because this channel is always about the why. So let's jump right into this article, and then of course I'll give you my commentary over it, and finally, I wanna hear from you. What do you think about all this? Down below in the comments, let's have this discussion. Don't forget also, tonight, we're live. It's Friday. Every Friday night, or just about every Friday night, 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, we are live. A lot of times my wife is on here, so you don't have to see my face. Check it out. Definitely check it out. Anyways, the article starts out by saying, a new firmware version for existing SpaceX Starlink hardware reference a, quote, Mini 1 Prod 1. That's the name. Which means the hardware is production ready, according to a systems engineer in Ukraine. Interesting. SpaceX has been quiet about the up and coming SpaceX Starlink mini dish, but a new firmware release indicates the miniaturized model, bite-sized as I call it, may launch soon. The finding comes from an embedded system engineer from Ukraine who repairs and mods or modifies, we don't know what kind of modifications he's doing, but mods <laughs> Starlink dishes in the country. He spotted a new mention of the Starlink mini dish in the SpaceX's latest firmware release for the satellite dish hardware. He previously found reference to a Mini 1 Proto Zero and Mini 1 Proto 1 in earlier firmware releases. But on Tuesday, he noticed a reference to a Mini 1 Prod 1, which he says indicates that Starlink Mini Dish is finally production ready. Obviously, Proto being prototype, Prod being production. 
I think he's 100% right. Quote, the up and coming Starlink mini terminal should be released soon, he said on a post on X. In another tweet, he added that the up and coming Starlink mini dishes should feature a more compact design compared to existing hardware. Now, I talked to you guys about this last year. They are trying to get a dish that's literally the size of an iPad, maybe 10 inches, maybe nine inches by eight, something like that, really, really small, tiny, that you could just slide into a backpack. I think that's where they're going with this. It continues. The FCC approved SpaceX's application to operate this Starlink mini dish in September of last year. That's when I told you guys about that. And a few months later, SpaceX's CEO, Elon Musk, told employees the company would be, quote, introducing the Starlink mini later this year, which can fit in a backpack. So far, the release date and price have not yet been revealed, but the arrival of a more portable Starlink dish could spur sales for the Starlink satellite internet system when SpaceX is trying to attract more subscribers. In the meantime, the engineer also found evidence that SpaceX might be testing other prototype Starlink dishes for a future release. Quote, the latest firmware contains a description of the new Rev4 based prototype hardware. It's called Rev4 Catapult Proto.1. So Catapult, is that the name of the system Catapult or is Catapult just what they name it because it's being thrown out there as a prototype? this we don't know. The article finalizes with, in 2023, the FCC cleared SpaceX to test up to 200 next generation Starlink dish designs. That's what I just told you. So this happened back in September. So this has been ongoing. There's a lot of different dish designs that they've been working on and testing because they have authority to do so once again as of September last year. So this has been in the works for quite some time. We're now in May. If I was to speculate, I would say we would see it probably before the end of May, if not maybe beginning to mid-June. So it's right around the corner, guys, right around the corner. I think this is really interesting, especially for folks that are camping, RVing, or just moving about, and they want something just absolutely super tiny to be able to use no matter where they are. You could be on the top of Mount Everest and just pull out the little mini dish and be able to get high speed internet. This is just unbelievable, guys. Just think about it. Five years ago, you would never, ever, ever think that you would be able to climb the top of Mount Everest or be in the middle of the desert somewhere and have full speed internet access. You would never think such a thought right? It would be Iridium or some other satellite phone that was trash that you would have basically no data speed at all and just crazy latency that you'd only use for emergency calls because it was so damn expensive. Now you can just pull out a regular phone and be able to do texting. Apple has done it already, right? With what is it, Global Star or whoever. Starlink is going to be able to do that in the US before the end of this year using T-Mobile. Well, that's texting. Then we're gonna go to calls and then finally data directly to the E node Bs, which are basically cell towers in Leo. So there's a lot of really cool and innovative stuff happening over there at SpaceX Starlink. And I love to see it. Some of you guys have asked me, can you run these systems on 12 volt, on 12 volt DC instead of running AC without doing any type of conversion. And yes, there are little boxes that you can buy that will take your DC and run it on AC as of today. But, and well, I should say also, you could do conversions on them, but without getting into the hardware and having to do all this, that's why I haven't brought it to your attention. But there's a lot of you guys that are watching me, they're not gonna go and tear down their dish and go and convert it to DC, right? So. There are things that will allow you to do it. But I believe that when we see this mini come out, it's not just going to be a dish. I have a feeling there's going to also be a different router or maybe a router that runs on DC. Maybe there's two plugs, for example, 12 volt, 48 volt, something like that, direct power. So if you think about it at that point, you have everything you need. You have a little lithium battery that will be able to run that Starlink hardware, that router, which will feed the little tiny dish that's the size of an iPad, and you're golden. So I'm hoping, and I've been 
asking for this on the channel for you guys for quite some time that they make it so it's very easy to be able to run DC instead of all of you guys having to do this DC to AC conversion because you know whenever you do a conversion through an inverter you're losing about 10 20 percent power it really depends on how good your inverter is so it's not a good thing to do it's a thing you can do it but still once they have it so you can run it on either AC or DC all holds barred. You can now use this anywhere out in the field. I think things are going to really, really look up for SpaceX Starlink. There's going to be a lot of you guys that are campers and nomads that are wandering around that are going to want this little dish. The question that I have here is, is there going to be some type of speed reduction because of the size of the dish? That might be the case. I really don't know. They could start out by doing well, like 100 by 20, 100 down, 20 up, something like that, and make it only for mobile customers, right? Someone that is buying a roaming package, maybe they could do that. But if they find that that dish, that little mini dish, has still the capacity to be able to download at 200, 300, 400 megabits, that would be amazing. Think about that. You could take this thing and stick it on your roof and it'll be this big. You don't need all the hardware and all the arms and brackets and all this crap. And I told you guys this in the past. Remember we were talking about having a fully articulated dish and I'm like, well, it's nice to have the motorized version, the version twos. So when you put them on your roof, you don't have to go back up there just in case SpaceX wants to manipulate it. They can do it. Well, that's not going to be needed anymore. Once you have just a total coverage of satellites, as the number of satellites become more and more and more, you'll just be able to take that little dish and point it straight up. Just like you see on a car, or on a truck, or on the top of an RV, or on the top of a plane. They're all pointing straight up. They're not at an angle or any other crazy crap. And that's where we're going with it. So you're not going to have to worry about it anymore. You point the damn thing straight up wherever you are, as long as you don't have any foliage or any type of blockage from like a building or something, as long as you can see the sky, you're gonna be golden, all right? So we're moving forward, guys. We're moving forward. Speeds are getting better. Latency is getting better. The dish is getting smaller. And it is my hope, especially for you guys out there, that we go to a straight DC unit or possibly DC and AC. That would be awesome. What do you guys think? Down below, let's have this conversation. Are you interested in this? Are you interested in having something that just runs straight DC on a battery and a solar panel? Are you interested in purchasing a SpaceX Starlink dish that's this big? I am, I think it's pretty damn cool. Anyways, guys, down below, let's have this discussion. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, throw it a thumbs up. That would be very helpful. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the merchandise that I've put together for you. Check it out. Pick something up. I would really appreciate it. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you guys.